Hey guys, uh, finally picked this dude up along with another new wave Titans Return figure Perceptor this weekend. So uh, I'm super happy to finally get some new stuff to uh, show off to you guys. I actually do still have uh, Ditka, the uh, Blitz third-party Blitzwing that I need to get reviewed. I need to figure out his transformation so I can do it on camera. Um, I have the instructions, I just haven't had a chance to sit down and mess with him. But anyway, here is Broadside with Blunderbuss, his little headmaster dude. Uh, and he's seen just red and gray plastic. Got a painted face. We'll show him off more later in the video. But uh, Blunderbuss, he, he gives him the power to turn. Basically, gives him the power of supersize mass shifting. And I think that's funny considering that the two I found this weekend were Perceptor and Broadside. And uh, I'll explain the other half of that joke when we do Perceptor. Although he may go up first. So anyway, <laughs> the joys of behind the scenes and how that things don't always happen in order. We'll probably put it broadside up first now that I've made the comment, so this is all just going to be useless chatter. Anyway, Blunderbuss gives broadside the power to grow big and mass shift large. So here is his uh, aircraft carrier mode, and it's actually pretty decent. He does have some little stands under here to keep him uh, sturdy when sitting down, although you can, if you choose, fold those up uh, just for play purposes, although he is not no, I guess he does kind of balance okay, but he is very much more easily tippable if you uh, leave those folded up. But there he is in flat broadside uh, aircraft carrier mode. Uh, this runway is a sticker, as you can see, um, and it's ill-fitting. Some parts of it didn't come attached all the way, and it goes over these little humps. And the problem with stickers like this is that they don't really, they don't really allow for tight fitting things unless you apply them tight fittingly like if somebody had gone down when this was applied and as they applied it affixed these right down to these ridges it would sit a little better as you can see it's starting to come up because this type of sticker doesn't have a lot of stretch to it uh, so it's hard to make it stick down all the way after the fact it's doable but it's a pain in the butt and you can see like there's already a screw hole visible these shiny stickers on the Voyagers, I'm really starting to dislike. They, they weren't great on Prime or Megatron. I haven't played with the Prime from the Chaos at Velocitron set, but that one looks like it's probably going to have issues as well. His chest sticker actually isn't too bad, but uh, this ramp sticker is a little, a little gross. Uh, the 3 and the 6 actually also appear to be stickers here. Yeah, they are. Uh, but uh, So it makes them reflective, but also gross. But overall, like I said, it's a pretty decent uh, aircraft carrier. You can see, yeah, you can see that he is a triple changer under there. He's got all sorts of little pegs all over him in which uh, Blunderbuss can peg on or any Titan Master can peg on and stand. Uh, the conning tower over here can fold up backwards and make a little spot for a Titan Master to fit in. You can fold, I guess, fold that back up behind him if you want to have that sticking up again. Although this tab tends to keep it, tends to hit the face of whatever Titan Master is in there so it can't stick 100% straight up and down like that. But so you can give it a little cockpit there, a little riding place there. Also, for these little pegs, he comes with this little set of aerial bots uh, on plain, paint, unpainted white. Actually, is it unpainted? It looks like it may actually be a bluish plastic under there, painted white, which is confusing. Oh, yeah, it actually looks like it may be the clear plastic painted white. Anyway, <laughs> but still, you get these little solid white aerial bots, which you can see have peg holes. You can peg, uh, just for the sake of it, I'm going to peg one on here, but uh, you can peg them on to the little peg holes all over the aircraft carrier. Uh, I have not cut them off the sprue uh, because, again, they're just kind of plain white. Neat enough. I've seen some people do some amazing tiny detailed paintwork to paint these guys up, and props to the people who did that because that is outstanding. Uh, I have not had the time to do it. I haven't had a chance to pop these off of here because I know the minute they do, they're getting lost. So uh, so I'm hanging on to them, but if you want that, it is, it is kind of a neat little feature. You can put these little jets. Honestly, I feel like they're a little on the small size to scale with this uh, aircraft carrier, but maybe I'm wrong. Actually, no, I guess he's bright if we, if we count this as a two-way one ray, although you generally don't. Um, anyway, he's about the right width. Anyway. Enough of that. There's a peg hole right here in the middle that you can store his clear or translucent blue gun if you wish. Transparent. Makes some people happy. I don't know. One of those words is correct. <laughs> so you can store that right there. 
to transform them to jet, I'm going to fold these panels out to the side and go ahead and take this conning tower, fold it up and around. He's also got a sticker over here that says 36 on it as well. But fold these wings out, fold these panels here, down and around like that, flip them over obviously. Uh, this flat panel folds down like this. The legs come up. You want to rotate them actually so these empty gaps are in, up, and kind of kind of fit this tab, this tab into this slot here. Like this. And I'll go ahead and flip these up. Flip the fins up. Now I want to point out this is the official transformation here, not necessarily the best transformation. But you fold those up, fold the fins up, which are now facing the wrong direction like this. And then the arms come down on this hinge like this, down to the side. Same over here. And this abomination is what is being passed off as an official jet mode. And it is roughly, I mean, if the fins just face the right, right direction, would be a huge improvement. There's, there's a fix for that, which we'll get to uh, at the end of the video. Because I want to show them off as intended first. But, uh, but yeah, it's, 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 it holds together well. The, 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 the front end of the jet, even the wings don't bother me that much. Although, again, they've got some of these crappy metallic stickers that I don't like on these Voyagers. I really wish they'd not use these stickers. But hey, you know what? It's a learning process for them too. So learn it, guys. Don't use those stickers. Uh, but here's jet mode. And you can open up the cockpit and you can put Blender Bus in there. And once again, there's a peg hole back here that, if you wish, you can attach the gun back there. And then it actually almost kind of helps it mode, makes it look more like a space fighter, but meh. So it's all right. On to robot mode, we'll go ahead and pop Blunderbuss out of here. We'll go ahead and just fold him in half to make his head. Bring the legs, I'll we'll bring, we'll bring the arms up first. Like this, snap them into place. Bring this panel back up at this hinge, and then at this hinge, this whole assembly folds down onto the back. Uh, these top pieces of the shoulder. Although you can leave these up if you wish, but the top pieces of these are intended to fold back behind the arms. Those pop up, but we'll get to that in a minute. The wings, again, are kind of a... Flip the fist out. There's no wrist swivel on the fist. Just uh, flip out, unfortunately. Again, on a figure this size, I'd kind of like prefer the wrist swivel, but... Bring the legs down, untap them from here, bring them down. Bring this piece around to form the foot. And you can kind of, it helps a little bit to have that slid back for stability, but then you can put it on either end of that hinge. Or just straight up like that, you know. And these kind of, in the package, they're folded around in a really weird way like this, but these I think are intended to kind of come together to form like a pointy leg on the front. And that works well enough. I mean, honestly, that, that doesn't bother me that much. Fins on his leg, that's. Standard transformer trope, I guess. The wings, again, you can have them out. We'll get them come up here to the top of his body. Um, you can have them out. And then plug his, uh, rotate his fist around. Plug his head in. Like this. And then again, you can push this button here. Make the little side things pop up. And on him, I kind of dig the side things popping up. One, because the, his head, since his head's on a ball joint, if you don't have those, that middle assembly really doesn't turn that well uh, with his loose head. But if you pop those up, it helps turning the whole assembly a lot easier. But yeah, the wings you can have out to the side. You can have them folded down however you want. And he's a, he's a pretty cool robot. You can hold his gun, and again, the headmaster can fit in the gun as well. Um, I dig his robot mode. I dig his aircraft carrier mode aside from the stickers. His jet mode, like I said, leaves a bit to be desired. We'll show off a, an alternate take on the jet mode here in a bit. But, uh, but yeah, he's got uh, the head joint, obviously, both at the neck and then at this little piece right here, much like all of the Voyagers, or almost all the Voyagers have had some sort of piece like that. So 
Uh, he's got the rotational hinge at the shoulder, in and out here, bicep swivel, hinge elbow. The wrists do not uh, twist at all, unfortunately. No waist swivel due to his transformation. Again, I feel like they could have maybe worked that in there. But, uh, oh well. Also, there's a hinge there. What is that? Huh. It doesn't appear that this piece actually rotates, but there is a pin hinge through there. Looks like it's just pinned together. Interesting. Anyway. Uh, front to back, side to side legs. Uh, no thigh swivel. Oh, there is a thigh swivel. It's right there. We actually used it for transformation. Uh, hinge knee to about 90 degrees. And then a pretty decent range of motion front to back on the foot ankle. Uh, but uh, no side to side on that. So yeah, he's neat. Um, like all of the Voyagers in this line, and even a few of the more recent Deluxes, I'm starting to suffer from like a, just a floppiness. Um, I remember the first couple of waves being, you know, like maybe not the greatest transformation-wise, but at least semi-solid figures. And like Broadside and Megatron and Optimus, the last couple of waves of Voyagers, have had some neat transformation bits, but have just fall like they've just been really loose, especially at the hips, which is kind of where you want. A robot that you're intending to stand up on display uh, to have some stability. He's not as bad as Optimus, especially like Megatron was okay. Optimus was really bad in the hips. Uh, so yeah. Anyway, I'm going to turn him back into jet mode and I'll show you the alternate conf configuration for that one. Uh, real quick though, before we do that. Instruction manual. Da -da -da, and of course, his Titan's Return tech spec. Which, no, I did this. Ah, whatever. Oop. That was like this. It was like this and then that way. Okay, whatever. Um, there's his tech specs. All right, on a jet mode. All right, so here he is in his quote-unquote jet mode. And uh, basically one of the things, like I said, these fins are backwards. And one of the easiest things to fix which uh, some people have done, is just, just turn these things around. I'm going to use a screwdriver because you can see this one right here already has a little bit of a stress mark there, a uh, little diagonal line from trying to pull this off. It was starting to bend, and I don't want to risk breaking it. So uh, if you're really careful, you can do that. But again, it's easier if you just get like a, fl a small flat screwdriver and just pop these things out of place here. Just to be safe. And then flip them around onto the other side. And, and again, you want to go onto the other side because uh, actually, that one? we want to keep these. Oh yeah, I guess it's like this. So uh, well, no, because these go. On. You would just keep with this little hole hidden in configuration. So you pop these guys in, and those can fold out to the side like they did before. And then turn these guys around. Should just snap back in. There we go. Actually, I think I did these backwards, but whatever. And in and of itself, that right there, while not great, at least gives it a semi, especially if you plug the uh, the gun in, at least properly facing thin jet mode. But uh, if you mistransform him, and again, he gets a little floppier because nothing pegs in. But if you bring these up, uh, flip this panel up forward here like this, and then fold this back. The same over here. Bring that panel all the way up and in. Kind of fill in that gap. You can get a semi decent. Uh, looking jet mode although like I said the legs if you have stiff stiffer hips it works a little better but it's it's hard to believe that like they couldn't find a way to make this lock together like even if you just just a tab like a tab on the arm that tabbed into like if this tab right here 
had like a slot on here to just tab into the leg, it would hold it in place securely enough for that to be a pretty decent fighter mode. Not perfect, but for a triple changer, pretty darn good. I don't know why they didn't do that. Now it does uh, in robot mode, and I'll do the legs here. If you fold these in like this, I guess you can kind of do it like that. That's cool. That works for me. Uh, because you, you you lose the ability to kind of fold this down, and they don't they don't meet up together like they did to form that triangle before. Although I think that does uh, yeah that yeah so you could do it like that, and then the legs fold in. So that work actually works I think a little better for robot mode, the feet wise. Uh, although in in carrier mode you will have uh, instead of kind of folding under like it did before, you will have this fin. Uh, sticking out the front here where these two come together so minorly problematic there but you can get like you said it's it's a fan mode but it's just such a nicer looking jet mode i don't know why they didn't do it like this but hey i'm not hasbro but i think something like this would have been much much better overall but that's just a that's a that's a fan mode update like i said it's not super solid but it's something you can do